Good morning guys, I'm here today at the Malvern Show. We've got a lovely sunny day. We actually stayed over last night at a wonderful B&B called the Bluebell Farm because last year when we came down the traffic was really heavy. This morning we just popped across the road from the B&B we were staying at and we're at the show nice and early. We're gonna head to the Floral Marquee first. There are loads of gorgeous tulips here and Actually, some of these I really liked last year. It was these lilac-y ones, and now I've got them growing in the garden. I do like these ones with the frilly edge quite a lot. There's lots of herbs too. The edibles are always my favourite, and we get loads of inspiration at these shows. There's some really nice colours in this auricular theatre. They look so nice on the black backdrop, they really pop. The daffodils are definitely my favourite, but mine didn't do very well this year. They've got some gorgeous ones here. I really like the leaf colours of the hookers. I don't actually have any myself. Maybe I'll have to change that. Ladybird poppy is still one of my favourites. I have planted my own seed this year, so fingers crossed we get a nice display. The peonies are looking amazing. Apparently they're going to be in the bouquet for the royal wedding, so we're predicting that they're going to come back and be very popular. Although well, they're pretty popular here already. Whenever I'm in the floral tent, I always think I should have more flowers in the garden, and I really like these tall hydrangeas. These are called snowflakes. I think they would be lovely in a planter, because I don't have much area that I could put them into the ground in, but I think they would work really well in a big planter. This is a knitted garden, and this is with Chris Beardshaw. We're having a look outside now at the plant stores. There are lots all the way up, and the sun is still out. It's a little bit windy, but it's quite warm. To some of the larger gardens now and there are olive trees here and also lots of fig trees. Going off to one of those three gardens and is being auctioned to uh, members of the public so you can go along to gardens which are normally... I'm now going to the Cook and Grow Theatre to see a talk with John Trode and I actually have also had a little interview with him today so I'll put that in after the clip of his talk. This is a really quite fascinating thing. You know when you fry onions and they sort of start to go a little bit too dark? And you try and turn them down, you can't stop them cooking. Water. Water does two things. One, it cools the whole process down. The other thing, of course, it's going to evaporate. It becomes nothing. It disappears. I started off and I said I'd only put it in the garden if I could eat it, but that's... Interesting. It's kind of and do you use all the bits? Yes. Good. And they do compost it as well, so Fabulous. if you don't use it, it goes into the compost. Because it's really interesting, I, 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 I don't do a lot of stuff in Asia and travel a lot in Asia, and, and, and uh, particularly one of the things I've, I found fascinating is in Korea, <coughs> where uh, because Korea has such extraordinary seasons, it has a very different summer where it's very hot, a very different different autumn and, and harvest, and then a really, really quite cold winter. So over that cold winter time, they don't have fresh food because it has to all be either pickled or whatever. So you have kimchi, yeah. over 200 types of kimchi, and then you have something called namels, which are um, brined vegetables. But so, for instance, one of the big things that I, one of the things that I think is really fascinating is they they do everything. So a pumpkin plant, the stalks are. Uh, done into kimchi and the leaves are done into namels. Uh, the turnips, turnips are used obviously the turnip, then they use the stalks and they use the leaves. So everything they use, absolutely nothing ever gets thrown out. Whereas we, of course, what we do, we just chuck all this stuff, yeah. stuff away. And I think there should be something, something like you maybe should be the right person to do it. You get out there and tell everybody, take this stuff and, and start pickling it and using it and saving it. And no, that's interesting. I actually used to live out in Japan. Did you? So the mountain vegetables were a big thing yes. and the same thing with lots of brine in and salt and stuff to keep it over the winter because that's and, and what a great yes. way to live. Yeah. You know, that whole <laughs> thing of using all those bits and pieces. Yeah. Where about your family? I'm eating some free chocolate pudding and heading up to the last talk of the day. Maybe two peppermint leaves and then I'll add three spearmint leaves. 
And it makes it's becoming a recipe now, so. and it makes it much more mellow and much easier to drink, and it's much better for your digestion. And look at her complexion on that. Ah, uh, see. <laughs> We're shopping at the organic vegetable plants and they're really nice here. Oh, I'm going to be getting some artichokes. But it's really good because they sell really small plugs which makes it much more affordable. We've just come inside now into the food and drink hall. There's lots of cakes and pastries and alcohol in here. <laughs> as well as all the plants outside and sheds, there are also some statues. This owl's got a bit of everything. We are heading home now. We've had an amazing day. We're walking back out through the floral marquee. Um, I think it's about half past four or five o'clock and it's much quieter now. So this could be a good time to be in here and see it all. Um, I only showed you a little bit of the food tent, but there is so much going on here and so much to see outside as well. It's a really full day. We were queuing to get in this morning and it's coming up to the end of the day now. You can really pack an awful lot in. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know what the fav your favourite thing that you've seen in this vlog is and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye bye! <music>